Where are you from? I get this question asked at least once a week. And every time I mention that I live in Austin, Texas, I can predict with 90% certainty what the next question will be. No, tell me, where are you really from? <sighs> Here's the thing, I never really thought about it being an inappropriate question to ask until I began working on my set hustle. Because here's the thing, I realized that there's a common problem in entrepreneurship that no one was really openly discussing about. As a non-native speaker, when English is your second language, there are tons of small daily reminders that really make us feel like we're not smart enough, we're not good enough, we're not capable enough, right? And it makes us feel like we just don't belong here. And this feeling of not belonging really creates this huge obstacle when we're trying to build our own business. This video is dedicated to all the incredible non-native speakers who are striving to become entrepreneurs, AKA you. I created this very motivational video to help you become aware of what might have been holding you back. So my goal in this video is to provide you with the tools to overcome these really big internal struggles so that you can pursue your biggest, wildest dreams. Because here's the thing, you've proven that you broke the glass ceiling in your home country. Now it's time to break the glass ceiling in the country you currently live in. I want to share what I wish I had known when I started out, because truth to be told, I faced struggles, some serious struggles. So let me back up for a second. When I immigrated from Germany to the US seven years ago, despite English not being my native language, I felt incredibly proud of myself, seriously. <laughs> like, yay, I did it. I'm living the American dream over here. However, after the initial really high came the rude awakening because every single day I was reminded that I'm not good enough, not smart enough, not fitting in enough. Every time I go to dinner with native speakers and they show no interest in me, leaving me sitting there quietly thinking to myself, maybe I'm just better off not talking at all. Or every time I hear you're not that typical kind of German. Or every time I ask ChatGPT to check my grammar. Or every time I can't seem to find the right word in a very important presentation and it just makes me feel like a failure. Every day I eat struggle for breakfast. And maybe you've been through some of these experiences as well and you can relate. It sucks. The problem is that all of these experiences every single day, right? They lead us to feeling really embarrassed about speaking up. And instead of viewing our journey as a strength, it makes us play small. It leads us to be quiet when we should be loud. And what I learned the hard way though is that you can't really play small and be quiet when you want to start a business. Just the ugly truth. I mean, all of this chatter in my mind was holding me back when I started thinking about a business. These like everyday situations, it really made it difficult for me to gain the confidence to just go for my biggest, wildest dreams. So that was the first hurdle for me to overcome. But interestingly enough, once I did do the inner work, right? AKA a lot of therapy, uh, to really just block out that external noise and finally make the decision to run my own business, the feelings of like not being good enough, they just came up again. And this time though, more so from the inside because I just put a lot of pressure on myself. And maybe you can relate. I like to say that your business is kind of like a mirror. When you start the entrepreneurial journey, you're, you'll inevitably have to face your own dark side. There's no way around it. And I remember when I started committing to writing a weekly newsletter and boy, did I have a ton of grammar mistakes in it. And I remember being so embarrassed by it. And that's when I was like, oh, I need to hire a copywriter for, you know, a few hundred dollars to just proofread my website so that it doesn't look like, you know, I made any mistakes. The problem is I prioritize credibility over authenticity. Like everything needed to be perfect so that no one could make fun of me. 
But if I can tell you one thing I learned about entrepreneurship the hot way is that entrepreneurship is all about allowing yourself to suck. Yes, to suck real hard. <laughs> because entrepreneurship is quite the polar opposite of being perfect. And I realized that entrepreneurship is not about running away from your dark side. It's about learning how to master your dark side. That's why I love to say entrepreneurship is not a profession. It's a mindset. And it's the best personal development course you can ever take, seriously. So if you're like me, you want more in life, right? You want to become an entrepreneur, but you've worked so hard to earn your reputation. You're well aware of the pain and the scars from your journey to get you to where you are now. And I understand it because you're hesitant to go through it all again. I know exactly what you're feeling right now because you don't want to start from scratch again because you know what it feels like to not be good at something. You understand what it's like to not fit in and to be made fun of. I mean, filming videos that suck, right? Worrying that your boss might come across them or writing blog articles with grammar mistakes in them and then being judged by your coworkers. You don't want to reopen those old wounds, right? You understand the pain and you know what it feels like because you eat struggle for breakfast too. You didn't get the job because of your communication skills. You got hung up on the phone because of your accent. You were treated like a second class citizen. There has been way too much focus on our origin rather than who we are as individuals. So it's time to redirect the spotlight onto you and not your origin. Because I want you to know who you are as a person matters. It matters so much. You are wildly capable. You are smart enough. You are good enough. And most importantly, I want to tell you, you belong. Don't let the micro trauma of living in a different country dim your inner light ever. Please let them make fun of you. Let them ignore you. Let them underestimate you because Here's what they don't know about us. We eat struggle for breakfast. We eat mistakes for lunch. We eat homesickness for dinner. But when we go to bed at night, guess what? We're still hungry. Hungry for more. Hungry to just help others. Hungry to provide a better life for our family back home hungry to just do more, hungry to just be more, hungry to make the impossible possible because we are fighters at our core and no one can ever take that away from us. This is what brought us here. And this hunger, this deep hunger is what will help you get to where you want to go. It's really time for them to see you rise and shine. So, if you've been thinking about becoming an entrepreneur and you've been really struggling, maybe you've let the voices around you just get too much inside your head, like I did. So the real question really is, how can you overcome thoughts like, I'm not going to make it, I don't have the experience, I don't have anything valuable to offer. You need to redirect your attention away from your thoughts to real evidence instead. Think about it. You live in a different country. You speak a different language and you might be far away from your family and friends. And I'm sure you miss them dearly and I get it. But you, yes, you, you have demonstrated that you are stronger than you give yourself credit for. You've overcome so many struggles in your life. I mean, think about it. Think about it for just a second. Reflect on all the challenges that you've overcome so far living far away from your home country. Think about it because that's when you realize you already have everything you need inside of you. And I can tell you, your family back home is incredibly proud of how far you've come 
And even if they don't tell you, they truly are. And deep down, you know it. And I know it. Because they go to bed with a huge smile on their face. Because they are so proud of how far you've come and what you've accomplished already. Look, what I wish someone had told me early in my journey is that you going through all of the pain to getting to where you are now, it actually makes you incredibly qualified to become an amazing entrepreneur. Why? Because you don't take no for an answer. You work your butt off. You make the impossible possible. Our accent is a testament to one thing and one thing only. Hard freaking work. We are freedom fighters and no one can take this away from us. So please let this video be a reminder to never ever measure your value by the way you're treated. Measure your value by the challenges you've overcome in your life and how many lives you positively impact. So next time you walk by a mirror, stop for a second and just give yourself a high five because you freaking deserve it. And I really want this to be a habit. Watch this video every time you're struggling. Share it with your friends. And really don't forget, you're not defined by your origin. You are you. Don't let the pain from the past prevent you from unlocking your absolute best future. Please embrace starting at zero again because hey, you've already shown you can freaking do it. All of the struggle every day shapes your character. So let it make you just stronger and stronger. Acknowledge how far you've come. Think about where you were like 10 years ago or five years ago or one year ago. If there's a call inside of you for more, give it a shot. Life's too short to give others the power to take you down. And life is too short to actually give yourself the power to take you down. Don't do it. And lastly, here's another thing that I always love to bring up. Take a second and think about what building a business will enable you to do. Imagine flying back to your home country whenever you want without having to submit PTO any longer. Imagine having enough money to fly your friends and family to you. Imagine what it would feel like if you could give back to the people who need you the most. There's no better feeling than building a purpose-driven business that impacts the lives of others. So if you're interested, I put some free resources in the description below to help you get started on your side hustle journey. If you have any questions, please let me know. That's what I'm here for. And never forget, you and I have a huge advantage over native speakers because we eat struggle for breakfast. <laughs>